going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this episode of Tool Tuesday, we look at the breakdown section from the patient. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a full tutorial on the song. I, pr I probably will one day, but I wanted to give you guys a taste of it and one of the fun sections and maybe one of the harder sections to kind of hear or, or found, figure out or count. All right. So we are in a drop D tuning. Um, if you want to follow along with the tabs, you can find the link for either a PDF or Guitar Pro down in the description below, or you can go to my uh, Instagram at, at @creation for a picture of the tabs that we're working on. All right. So the opening riff, like I said, we are on a drop D tuning. The opening riff is um, a heavier version of something that you find earlier in the song. Right, just on the low strings and full blown power. We are on a 5 4 feel, so it's probably easier when you go through this to count it 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and. Okay? So we, the riff is 0, 0, 3 5 0, 7. Right? And you probably do like the double phrase, I think it's seven times before you switch to the lower frets. And the first time you play it, it's, oh, it's kind of open, but then as you start repeating it, you're going to want to have some muting in there. And really the only things that are not muted is going to be the hits on the five and the hits on the seven. Right? So just lift up your hand, nice hard down pick, give you that energy that you need. All right? So you, like I said, you repeat that. And then we move down into the lower frets, okay? So 3010, it's actually 30100, like that. And then 23, and then 010. Okay, and you're gonna do that four times, and on the last, very last time, the, the ending when you go 2 3 is actually going to be 2 3 2 1 0. Oh. Right? You kind of get like this. It's, I know it's a very s slight variation, but you end up getting this like chromatic movement down, and that kind of crescendos up to the change that comes up next when it switches to more of an open feel. Right? So it's 3. And then two muted opens and an open. Two, three, oh, one. Oh, one, oh, there, okay? So that's that section right there. And then you have the heart where you move up and your kind of accent pattern is going to stay the same, but it gets to be a little tricky. And you, essentially it's five and seven repeated. And the way, an easy way to feel it is five, seven, hammer on and then give it another hit, right? So it's five, seven, seven, and then five, seven, okay? And I would hammer on when you go from side to five to seven, it just sounds really good. And the accent pattern can be a little tricky because when you listen to it, it is a stereo guitar track and he changes like where the accents and the opens are from each channel, all right? So, but you can play the rhythm straight through, right? So it's... that kind of feel, all right? And when you just do the five, seven, the group of two, I would open that up. Like that, okay? And then you have the little. All right, five, seven, seven. And then five, seven. And then five, five. Hammer on the seven, back to the A string. And you're gonna to wanna to start doing some pinch harmonics. Okay, and then you get to the. That little riff right there. And he plays it in that position, and then he'll jump up. Right, and he plays it an octave higher. Okay, so cool. Really fun section to play. Um, the drums on, can be pretty hard to play for my drummers out there. And uh, like I said below, like I said before, the link for the Guitar Pro or the PDF version of this tab, and it'll be tabbed the whole the whole section I played, 
It will be down in the description below, or you can check out my Instagram, at xcreation. Give me a follow, tag me in your performance. I would love to see it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So as always, let me know what you come up with, and until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.